Larson closes his eyes and takes a long, deep breath. Uh, when he speaks again, his voice is calmer, if not much friendlier. Stay where you are. All right, then we're working. It's working. We wait out on the lawn, listening to Larson quietly make his way downstairs. Before long, he appears on the porch, locking the front door behind him. That okay, okay. This is good. Progress. He motions at you to follow him off to the side of the house. There he turns towards you. I get the feeling he's going to be rude again, but you know, I wouldn't want to talk to a vampire in front of my family as a caitiff, you know, thin blood. What do you want? It's about the Red Hook murders. You think one of yours is responsible? You think that. I don't. I think it's Tremere, but you're the detective. Bullshit. A dustborn's got enough trouble just staying alive out here. What could possibly make them openly violate the masquerade? Ig fucking exactly. What 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 do they have to gain? Can a can a can a thin blood drain a body that fast? It just doesn't make sense. Desperation. Killer's been leaving messages. Whoever they are, I think they know something. Something they can't share with just anyone. Okay. Yeah, I'm have to agree with him. You sound kind of off your rocker about this whole fucking role play aspect of your being a detective thing, man. It, it seems like a game to you. I know it seems far-fetched, but it's the only way this puzzle fits together. No, it really isn't, but I gotta follow your lead, so... Nah, I don't buy it. You're reaching. I'm trying to find a scapegoat. Getting your boss's good graces. Words go around the angel. She think I don't know who you're working for. The help is clear your name is a solid thing. Figures you'd cover for one of your own. Nah. No. Then help us clear your name. Because we don't I, don't... I don't actually believe in this. Like, I don't think the Thin Bloods are involved, but... He does, so let's just go with it. That helps clear your name. Your people's name. What have you got to lose? There you go. It's logical. Everything. I've been a thorn in the council's side for a while now. This is just the excuse they need to get rid of me. Honestly, I'm surprised you even exist in the first place. A, a thin blood primogen? I didn't know that was an option. I, I really felt like vampires were kind of too racist against your kind there's so many reasons for them not to like you you know you straddle the fence of life and unlife and there's all sorts of weird shit that goes on with you you're a risk in so many ways you guys don't give up you don't belong anywhere they can't force you to obey I mean they could but no one wants to take responsibility for you. you they'd rather just kill you and you guys are going to be a, you know, you're not going to just like die, but you could. Honestly, that's actually what makes the most sense is that they would just kill you. All of you, like wholesale. And that's largely probably what happens. The fact that you're a primogen is quite progressive. But again, it's New York, so there's probably a lot of you. You know, as the blood thins out and whatever. But let's just move on. What if it turns out one of yours did, and you sat on your hands to protect him? You think the council won't jump on that? Fair point. He looks off into the darkness, pondering his options. He lets out a heavy sigh. Look, I'll ask around. Consult my sources. If it turns out one of my own is responsible, they will face justice. In the meantime, keep your deductions to yourself. I have trouble, enough trouble as it is. Seems fair, dude. That's fair. This is this is win for me. I'm I'm taking it. This motherfucker has the alligator on his shirt. <laughs> Deal. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my family. It's like 
Exactly. And with that, Larson retreats to the elusive safety of, of his family. He decides it's best to move along. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You walk a couple blocks in utter silence. Even D'Angelo's mumbling seems to have taken a backseat. Oddly enough, you find this newfound reticence somewhat unnerving. Finally, the Nosferatu stops and turns towards her. Hell of a night. Honestly, I feel like I failed this in many ways. You literally dragged me around like I was on a leash, and I still straight up do not agree with you. I think you're wrong, but I guess the NPC is, is, is in charge, so... I don't think it makes sense for the Thin Bloods to be involved. It doesn't make any sense to me based on all my vast knowledge of the world of darkness, vampires, the different clans, and Thin Bloods. But sure, why the fuck not? I don't know about you, kid, but I sure could use a drink. Something warm and a tall, sweaty glass. But first, let me tell you your score. Let's see now. I get the feeling I've done very poorly. You did make a good first impression. Like someone who can talk themselves out of a tight spot. Thank you. Talking sheeps. Bullets? Not so much. No, bullets are actually per pretty cheap. Especially if you make them casings and like once you got the loader and gunpowder all that shit it's not expensive bullets are not particularly expensive when you consider the fact that as a human one bullet could if you're good with a gun one bullet could be one life or at the very least fuck their shit up for quite a while and maybe kill them later for the cost of, like, what, like, less than tree fitty? <laughs> Fuck that, that's, tree fitty for a fucking existence? Depending on the caliber, blah, 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 whatever. That's not a lot, man. You held your own at the crime scene. Nothing I hadn't figured out on my own, but hey, we can't all be professionals. I still disagree with you. I think you're wrong. But it's your fucking investigation. I'm just sort of here for the ride. Finally, when the situation called for subtlety, you managed to avoid unwanted attention. Discretion is what separates a private dick from just any old dick. Okay. I did I did try to keep it quiet and respect the thing, so yeah. All in all, you did fine. Not fine, fine, but not bad for your first case. Don't let it get to your head. That, honestly, that's a better rating than I expected. I'll take a B minus or even just a C plus or just a C. I, I don't feel like I even earned that because I still disagree with your outcome, but I guess that just shows how little I played this game. I'll be in touch. Let you know uh, what I hear from uh, Trophy Earn, Sweet Smell of Success. Uh, let you know if I hear from Larson. Be ready to meet me at the office. He starts to walk away, but suddenly stops and turns back towards you. And bring a notepad. Every good assistant should have one. I mean, yeah, you gotta have a fucking notepad if you're gonna be a gumshoe. Alright, well. I'm a rest. You're walking down the street towards your haven. Some other town, the sidewalks will be deserted this time of night. New York City, there's plenty of passers-by going about their business. It's easy to be paranoid when you're a vampire surrounded by a crowded crowd of humans. The kindred have many enemies, and all those enemies have one trait in common. They're invisible, indistinguishable from normal humanity. Other vampires, hunters, all look like people. No. You have aspects. Vampires. Hunters. Ghouls. Use off specs. Motherfucker. But whatever. Is that old man just a tired restaurant worker or a kindred thrall? 
tailing you. You don't even know what a fucking thrall is. No one has said that word to you. Ever. I know what that is. But you don't. Are the officers idly waiting in the patrol car ordinary cops or second inquisition specialists looking to end undead threats? This kind of thinking leads to madness, but you can't shake the feeling someone is watching you. And it's not the first time you've felt like this. Following the cue of so many mortals around you, you stop at a street corner to casually survey your surroundings as if you were trying to remember which turn to take. Look around, ostensibly, at the, around the street signs to see if, uh, but in reality, to see if really anyone is following you. Down the street where you came from, a crowd of young drunk men uh, are drunken. Fuck. Uh, argue loudly about baseball. There's an indistinct figure standing behind them, almost impossible to notice. Motherfucker. You have aspects. Not to mention, you're a fucking vampire. Your senses are just naturally heightened. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, people. Yeah, whatever. And you're new and you're young, but still. Sort of a disappointment. The woman, probably the men, unconsciously move around as her as start to walk away, still mouthing off at each other. Whatever this is, it's probably something you have to take care of. Best case is someone tailing you. Worst case, you'll be attacked and killed. Seriously? It's that serious. We're just there. Unfortunately, being undead has its limitations. The sun is coming up soon, and you'll burn to a crisp if you stay on the streets. The doy. You reach your haven and settle in for the day. Disconcerted by the idea that someone might know where you sleep. That is actually not good. The plan was to return to your haven for the day. The sun is coming up soon, after all, but that's not what the beast has in store for you. Alright, I'm going to pause because... I don't know. I just feel like I need to end it and I'm tired of it just running out of time. And I want to choose my terms. Bitch. Sometimes I'm just unhappy about this game and the way it, it represents Vampire the Masquerade. It's like, am I out of touch with it? Do I not know how this world is because it does evolve and change over time? There's new books, new generations, blah, 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 blah. Or is this not true to form? I don't know.